Hi everyone, this is Lua from Kamala Tech. Today we're covering how to build approval workflows in Kamala Document Management Cloud and introducing you to the Workflow Builder, which allows you to customize and configure workflows based on your business requirements. To open the Workflow Builder in Confluence Cloud, you can go to Space Settings, Content Tools, and Document Management. Here you can click on the drop down arrow beside the workflow you'd like to modify. Uh, in this case, I'll be starting with the Quality Management System workflow. Then I'll just click Edit with the Workflow Builder. Here in the Builder, we have two panels, the Navigation panel, where you'll see a diagram of the workflow, and the Workflow panel on the left-hand side, where we'll control our settings. If we click on the name of the workflow in the left-hand corner, or the Workflow button at the top, we can modify the name of our workflow and also insert any special markup the workflow needs. The next thing we'll want to look at are the states. States are the different phases or steps in a workflow which the page can pass through. You can see them here and over on the side as well. In this workflow, you can see there are four states, draft, in approval, published, and obsolete. If we click on the state, we can change the name, the color, and also add an expiry date. We can also add and delete states. Uh, I'll just delete this obsolete state here. And you'll see that once I do, the workflow will automatically adjust. So if we want to add another review to this workflow, we can add a new state, which I'll call in review. And you'll notice that when we do, the new state will be put into a default place with some default settings. So we'll need to set the rules for how this state fits into the rest of the workflow. And that brings us to transitions. A transition is the way a page moves from one state of the workflow to the next. In the diagram, these are the arrows connecting the states. There are several kinds of transitions you can choose from. For example, the updated transition moves a page to a new state when the page content has been updated. Probably the most important transitions are the approve and reject transitions. To set up these transitions, I first need to add an approval. We can give the approval a name, and we can also choose how the people who will review the page are selected. I can allow anyone to approve the page, I can al allow users to be assigned manually, or I can assign the reviewers within the workflow. So for example, I can select specific users who will review the page or even entire groups of users. But for this workflow, I'll just set it to anyone can approve. Under Advanced, there's also the option to add electronic signatures if you need that for your workflow. Now that I've set up my approval, I can go to Transitions and select my options for what happens when the user approves or rejects the page. In this case, I want my page to transition to in Approval when I approve and go back to Draft when I reject. I'll also set up a Update Transition so that when the page is updated, it also goes back to Draft. Finally, now that I have this new approval, I want to use my first draft state as a staging ground to submit the workflow to be approved. So I'm going to delete my draft approval and then delete the approval transition on the state. Instead, I'll add a select transition, which will allow my user to just submit the page to be approved. And there we have my modified workflow. This is really just an intro to the basics of customizing your workflow. And there are even more options with triggers and other advanced settings. You can download Kamala Document Management and try it for free for 30 days, which gives you plenty of chance to play around with the builder. You can also reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to help you set up your workflow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.